All right, hello there and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. And in this one, we are going to be talking about frames per second in After Effects. So in this video here, we have just, I'll open it up here in the footage panel. If I play it through, it's a drone shot of a car. It was shot in 30 frames per second. And uh, yeah, it's really nice. So first of all, let's see how many frames we have in this clip. All you have to do is go to the end of your clip and it will appear down here. So it's 907 frames in this clip. Now if you don't see this, all you have to do is press control and then click and then it will switch from the time to the frames in the clip. Notice that when you do this, it also changes down here in the composition panel as well. Very good. Now. Let's say we actually wanted to um, change the frames per second of this clip. Well, all you have to do is um, go down here to interpret footage while your clip is selected, click on it, and then notice that this new window pops up and we have two options here. We can either use the frame rate of the video or we can conform to a, a different frame rate. So let's say we actually wanted to make this video um, shorter. So all we would do is simply push the frame rate up. So we'll put, so it's at 30 frames per second, we'll make it 240 frames per second. Now, notice now where the um, clip is on the timeline and look at what's gonna happen. The clip got a lot shorter, right? <clears throat> Very interesting. Now, if we play it back, it's playing back a lot faster. So now it's playing 240 frames per second. And this is a 30 frames per second timeline. Now there's something very interesting that we should look at. If you go back up to your bridge uh, footage here, and we go to the end, you will see that there are 907 frames in the clip. But down here, if we go to the end of our clip, we see that we only have 113 frames in the clip. What happened? Well, basically, since it got shorter, After Effects had to actually drop some frames in the composition. Now, let's say we actually wanted to make this clip a lot longer. What could we do? Well, we just do the opposite. So it was at 30 frames per second. Let us actually drop it down now to say something like uh, 15 frames per second. Now, look at what happens in your timeline. Notice the clip got longer, and it's longer than the original, actually. And if we play it back, it's playing back a lot slower. Notice also, too, if we go to the end of this clip, it has 1814 frames. Now, where did all these frames come from? Because our original clip here only had, if we go to the end of it, it only had 907 frames. So where did all of the new frames come from down here? Well, basically what After Effects did is that since everything was slowed down, it actually had to start duplicating the frames. And if we zoom in really closely, we will see this. So if we go down here and then we notice that nothing's happening on the first clip and then it moves. Nothing happens, then it moves. So After Effects basically had to um, duplicate the frames. So this is just something that you can uh, play with with your frames per second in After Effects. I hope you learned something in this video and we will see you on the next one. Until next time.